trying the local cuisine. Mm, West Indies curry. And is your jerk chicken good? Mm. And there's our boat over there. So this is our new boat. <laughs> oh my god, that looks really dangerous, David. Waking up to this view. It will get better though. This is a marina, obviously. So it's our first morning on the boat. This is the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Not much to it, but great view. Hello. Hello. It's our wardrobe space. Lots of space here as well bits and bobs and then you go across here there's some space here as well on this side and then this is the bathroom and then we go back out here and up the steps um, we haven't put away all the bags yet got all our drinks there which is good and then here's our galley and the main table Ow. <laughs> is everything okay? My head. this is the main room what do you call it the cabin salon the salon this is the salon this is the nav station go down to the other side and we've got two more cabins these are the cabins aren't they um so this is the second bedroom i guess second largest with space here like the others and then this is the smallest one the forward cabin um which is like a single where our bags are at the moment or my bags anyway and then same with quite a lot of space here to put stuff that's that for this side and then we come out here this is the cockpit so nice big table here lots of seating and then come up here and this is the helm yeah and this is the helm so, nice and comfy for driving the old boat. Let's go further down. Now I need to learn how to sail this thing. Come down here and here's trampoline. Love the trampolines. It's where I should be sunbathing most of the time. <laughs> looking out my new neighborhood every day so yeah this is actually this is actually our first time on a Mahi 36 and we've already bought it so <laughs> it was an impulse buy but we're quite happy with it and we're gonna start sailing it today breakfast for the view baby no visioning It's actually quite nice because it's a really beautiful bay and we have it all to ourselves so 
just gonna make some food and some drinks and just chill out for the evening. That's our boat over there. Can't really see it. It's our dinghy. Completely deserted beach. So we came to this hotel thinking it was going to be open for dinner. Um, it's completely closed, but that's even better than it being open because it's a beautiful beach with no one on it apart from us. We've got our beers and we're going to kind of explore. Filming you, filming me. Filming me. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Smallest kitchen I've ever worked in. Are you going to make use of the space that you have here? Just cooking up a chicken curry with some broccoli and I've got some courgette there. So that afternoon it got a bit stormy and we realised later that it was actually the edge of Hurricane Dorian. So we were quite lucky that it didn't actually go over Antigua. We did get a bit of rain and thunder and lightning, so it meant we had to dock back at Jolly Harbour for the night. Looking forward to the storm. Yeah, love storms. <laughs> Budget Marine. See what they've got in there. Looking forward to. <laughs> it's nothing but budget. David here is setting up a Wi-Fi extender. Well, I've connected to the optimizer, right? Search for because it's absolutely essential at this stage of the course. Having been out on a full say in a thunderstorm, <laughs> not satisfied with the danger. <laughs> you know, you should really set put this in the curriculum. Oh my God! Look how many Wi-Fi's it's found. Yeah? <laughs> it's literally. <laughs> look, pages and pages of Wi-Fi's. So we just made it to English Harbour. Um, from Don't like England to me. <laughs> Looks a lot nicer than England. Actually, that's not true. Well, Scunthorpe's lovely this time of year. No, England's not bad, but this is a very different kind of England. Um, so yeah, how long have we sailed or motored? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours we've motored from Dolly Harbour. 
obviously got a bit choppy and I got a bit seasick. So we've stopped here for a little breather before continuing, but it's really nice. Seasickness is a thing that he doesn't experience. So he doesn't know how bad it is. Man up. That's what I say, man up. I found dinner. <laughs> there he is. Chuk chuk. Where's Martha gone? Just us on this little beach in Antigua. Well, it's me actually, because Martha's. Uh, she was behind me. She's been just swept out to sea. Oh, well, I'm going for a little snorkel. Lovely. So we have come to Green Island, which is the furthest, well, just about the furthest west you can get on Antigua. It is literally beautiful here. It's like a desert island. There's like no one here because it's low season. So we've got the place to ourselves. It's white sand turquoise seas and yeah it's just really nice and it's got like a jungly Robinson Crusoe vibe so I've had a little bit of an explore I'm gonna go and explore a little bit more and David is just snorkeling over there and there's our boat over there I don't snorkel um, so I'm gonna explore on foot while he explores in the sea made it to the other side of the island through a lot of undergrowth this is my reward ultimate morning on the boat and I just got woken by a cockroach crawling up my leg. Deserted beach. City beach. <laughs> All sandy and shit. It's just me and David on this beautiful white sandy beach. And our boat is there. Right. Well, this shouldn't set fire to yourself, I suppose. I'm trying to think if I just go really quick. Well, the night's not over yet. Yeah, the night's not over I wouldn't oh, be no. so quick. <laughs> Wait till the flames go before you put the No, but I'm thinking if I just go in quick because flames are actually colder than the red hot embers. So I'm thinking like, if I just go in quick, spin it as quick as possible. Barbecue oh, time. So we slept on the trampoline last night. Um, only downside was that it poured down with rain at like 4 a.m. But um, it lasted about 10 minutes and we just came back out. This is the last morning on the boat, so we wanted to make the most of it. And today we go to a hotel. But I kind of wish we were staying on the boat because it's actually so nice. We can't wake up like this in a hotel. 
Room tour, this is the entrance. Oh, you look good on the wide angle lens. Yeah. You look skinny. Slimline. <laughs> Slimline. And we have this bed and a little chair and a bathroom and outdoor showers. I love an outdoor shower. Double showers. So that's good. Beach views. So it's our last day. Um, well, penultimate day really in Antigua so but last night and we decided to get a hotel for a bit of luxury <laughs> before we go back to Dubai. It's really nice here. Last morning in Antigua. Yeah. Had a lovely day. Oh, yeah. 